Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of another Christopher Ward that I picked up recently. It's really nice. I um yeah. So let's take a closer look and see uh how it is and see if everything is okay. All right, I'm back with the watch and yeah, I put my gloves on because I wanted the phone to have a better focus on the watch itself. So let's unscrew and see if it winds normally. Oh, the winding it's rather smooth it's really really smooth um i would say uh smoother than the previous christopher watt that uh, i've got so if i'm not mistaken this watch is powered by the new salita sw3330-2 which is a gmt movement so like let's try to play around so go to second click and then we try to see if the date changes okay so i've just got the date change um okay let's move it further away um we try to play with the date and the gmt hand so i'm gonna put it to 10 10 and let's see if i can play with the date so by ro turning the crown down i'm changing the date and then I believe by turning turning the crown upwards, I can play around with the GMT hand. Okay, nice. It's really nice. So um, here there is a fixed bezel. You cannot rotate the bezel. So for example, um, say now, for example, it's 10 in the morning. Uh, if you're not traveling, I think it's good that, you know, you just set it to 10 in the morning. Okay, so you see now, you have 10 a.m. and the GMT hand is pointing to 10. But if you are traveling to another location, yes, you can keep the GMT hand as your home location or even your travel location is up to you. And then you can set the hour um, to a different time zone. So for example, uh, I'm traveling to a place that say uh, it's two hours in advance. So instead of uh, being 10 a.m. in my home, um, so it's going to be 12 a.m. In, in where I'm traveling, uh, 12 p.m., excuse me, in, in where I'm traveling. And if I want to like uh, track my home time, well, I have to like really go and go back to 10. So, um, you know, one might argue that this is not a true GMT watch because a true GMT watch, you're supposed to be able to just set the hour hand of the watch and not like, uh, you know, the minute and wooden move together with our hand but anyhow it's still functional um and it's quite a good looking watch yes you know it's an homage to a uh, rolex explorer 2 um yep i i went for the black dial i know that uh, the more popular version is the white dial but i'm guessing i might have too many white dial watches so i said okay why not try a black dial instead and maybe the black dial will also make the watch look slightly smaller on my small wrist here okay so it comes with the orange gmt hands which also pay homage to uh, the rolex explorer 2 but the size is really great here you know um the newer Ex uh, explorer 2 i think the size is like what 42 millimeters but you know for this uh, christopher ward c63 cylinder gmt yes that's a mouthful the case diameter it's only 39 millimeters okay it's uh, quite thin i think i don't have the numbers at the top of my head but uh, i will definitely do a full review of the watch and i'll tell you all about it so this is the so-called newer salita s330 gmt movement um i think the power reserve is slightly higher than the regular salita 200 so yeah and the bracelet i think is the same affair if you watch my um review of the c60 sapphire blue yeah i'm guessing it's the same bracelet i'm guessing 
um, but the case could be slightly different but maybe they are sharing the same bracelet you know if I'm the manufacturer I will make them share the same bracelet so that uh, you know I don't have to design another one and it also comes with quick release uh, spring bar and there are this ratcheting um, quick adjustment that you can play around here let me just try to get my finger in so yeah you can basically just push this in okay so this one is like uh, quite a good invention or good execution from Christopher Ward which I like really much you know from my first um, C60 38 millimeters all right, so I guess that's it for this unboxing video. If you're interested to know more about the watch, please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the full review video when it's out. So I will be wearing this watch for another month or two and then I will come back with a full review. All right, guys, stay safe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.